Return on investment is definitely part of our, our thought process to go LED. You know, doing the right thing from a green standpoint is part of the decision, but economics also play into it. We were able to identify Acuity as the perfect solution for us, worked with the engineers at Acuity. Just to give you some perspective on what the return looks like from preferred freezer services standpoint, it was about a year payback or less depending on the location. So the, the decision was not a tough decision once we understood what the numbers were. The savings with the, uh, the maintenance on them, you know, the metal halide bulbs and high pressure sodium bulbs only last for so long. So a light goes out in a high bay situation, they're like 60 feet in the air, so you gotta get personnel with a lift, go up there, get them, change the bulbs, and the bulbs are expensive too. LEDs, there's little to no maintenance on them. At least 10, 20 years they're supposed to last, these LEDs. Our application is a freezer warehouse, so it is imperative that we keep our freezer as cold as possible and maintain that temperature because we store food. Now, a metal halide light or a high-pressure sodium light gives off immense heat. So you have 300 of these lights in the freezer, you can see how much BTUs they're producing, and it affects your cooling capacity. Our refrigeration systems have to run harder. Everything's affected just by changing those lights. Between the savings from a watt standpoint and the savings you can get state by state from a, an incentive standpoint, add those up and there is a definite economic return on investment.